One of the most requested horror characters of all time could be coming to Mortal Kombat 1's roster in the very near future. That is Ghostface from the hit series Scream. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. If you guys love Mortal Kombat, love Spider-Man, love Arkham videos, make sure to check out the channel if you like what you see hit that subscribe with that being said i want to know your guys' thoughts on this leak down below in the comments right now go write them and then come back up to the video with that being said let's get into it this is coming from the thinny on twitter or x whatever you want to say uh he is a pretty good source for mortal kombat leaks this is in the form of dialogue that has been data mined from the game after its release so there is credibility here but i would take this with a grain of salt considering that uh dialogues are kind of easy to fake with that being said let's get into these intros the first one is coming from takita where he says a mask and a cloak don't scare me now he uses the phrase scare and a mask and a cloak that is all ghost face right there he wears a mask he wears a cloak and he is used to scaring people now there isn't a response uh from ghost face because the character has not been added yet so it comes up as an error um when trying to data mine it uh the other one takita says is you're not evil you're crazy uh, another ones with Omni Man is, you know, something that Ghostface would say comes up as an error. And Omni Man replies, fuck movies, nothing beats a good book. This is probably because Ghostface is from a movie, Scream, and Omni Man comes from a hit comic book series, Invincible. Uh, there's another one where Ghostface would say something. Omni Man replies, don't get much oxygen in that mask, do you? Uh, Ghostface does wear a mask, so there's some possibility there. Other ones with Omni-Man include Omni-Man saying, what's your plan, trick-or-treating? Uh, this is a good hint towards Ghostface. I mean, he is a horror character. Horror is goes hand in hand with Halloween, so that kind of lines up as well. Another one, um, Omni-Man saying, I'm not here to play some stupid game where there is a error where Ghostface would reply. This is possibly uh, with Ghostface. Um, one of his hit, uh, one of his most iconic lines is asking if you want to play a game um, on the phone. That is Ghostface 101. Um, it's really, really cool to see these dialogues uh, because I am super excited to see whether or not Ghostface gets added. There's another Omni Man one where he says, Takes more than a mask and a knife to scare me. A mask, ghost face all over the place. Uh, and that I didn't even mean to rhyme that. Um, and then ghost face does carry a knife. Most of the time there is occasions where he will use a gun, but or or she. I mean ghost face has been a he and a she, so you know it's gonna be confusing on which uh version they choose to add um for ghost face if they were going to add this character in Mortal Kombat. The next ones come from Peacemaker, where Ghost Face would say something, and then Peacemaker would reply, Not if all we've got is that knife. Uh, well, Ghostface does carry a knife, so we got another hint towards Ghostface. Um, another one, Ghostface says something, Peacemaker replies, like I'd give you the pleasure, fuck not. <laughs> that is definitely something Peacemaker would say. Um, whether or not, you know, Ghostface said something just as uh, witty there, I don't know, because it, it, it just comes up as an error. Um, another one, Peacemaker says, you wear a mask because you're butt ugly. <laughs> That is, again, they're talking about a mask, so there is definitely a character that is masked. Um, there is the possibility that this could be Michael Myers as well, but if you have, you know, a cloak as well, like Peacemaker says in this next one, this cloak and dagger act is bullshit. Um, Michael Myers doesn't usually wear a cloak. That is definitely Ghostface that wears a cloak. With this news, I did put a poll on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe because I do put a lot of polls on my channel that you guys love participating in, and you guys had a lot to say about this character. With just about 4,000 votes, 71% uh, of you guys said that you would love to see Ghostface in Mortal Kombat 1's roster, and 29% of you guys said, nah, more Mortal Kombat characters, and I totally understand that. Um, I get some people do not like guest characters, but I wondered whether or not Ghostface could actually work as a main character. Wouldn't they be better off being a cameo? I mean, using a knife uh, and sometimes a gun isn't a lot to give for a moveset. Uh, Ghostface isn't really the most 
um, creative when it comes to his kills in the movies, so what would they do in this case? Although many of you would rather see Ghostface as a cameo, I think that he is going to be a main roster character, and this is because cameos do not have a way of interacting in intro dialogues as of yet. This is something that they could add uh, in the future, which is possible, but I think it would make more sense if they actually just did a skin. But who would take over the Ghostface skin? If they were going to do a premiere skin like something they did in Injustice 2, which character would Ghostface fit for Mortal Kombat? Well, I think the most logical answer would be Smoke. Smoke does carry a dagger-like weapon uh, for most of his moves in Mortal Kombat 1. Yes, he does teleport with a smoke and everything, um, but we're talking about Mortal Kombat here. I mean, we had Jason and Leatherface, so I mean, I'm sure if they wanted Ghostface to be able to teleport using smoke, I wouldn't really think much of it. I don't know if a lot of the fans would care that much either. I think it would just be an awesome way to add Ghostface into the game without having to use him as a cameo fighter, and that way we can actually fully play as Ghostface. Uh, another reason that I think Smoke would be a good fit for this premiere skin is that I think his fatalities really don't use too much of the smoke ability and more of his dagger. I mean, his first fatality uses the dagger to slice their arms off and put their, you know, neck up, and then he uses like my bad, I'm sorry for that. Um, he, then he puts like a grenade in their mouth and then it blows up, um, which is something that Ghostface could do. I could see that without a problem. His second one, I believe he does like a smoke storm and then he just like comes in and slices them with the dagger until they fall apart. I don't think that this is something that would be very out there for Ghostface. I think that this would fit perfectly fine if Ghostface was a premiere skin for Smoke. But like I said, I want to know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. What do you guys think of this leak? Do you think there's a lot of legitimacy? Uh, there is other leaks that this Twitter user did post um, that I may make videos over as well, um, but I wanted to make a, a separate one just for Ghostface because I think that there's a lot to expand on with this possibility. Uh, but that being said, I want to know your guys' comments down below in the comment section. Let me know because I love reading your guys' opinions on this type of stuff. I want to know what other horror characters should be added to Mortal Kombat. We did get a lot in Mortal Kombat X, but what other characters such as like Pennywise and Chucky, especially with the cameo system, there's a lot more possible possibilities for characters that we could get. With that being said, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button to see more Mortal Kombat, more Spider-Man videos, some Arkham videos in the near future. We'll see. Uh, but with that being said, have fun, be respectful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.